Hello again, I'm Pete Scargill and this is the opening and testing of the O1B35T Plus digital multimedia with Bluetooth. The media came in uh, bubble wrap and as you can see it has arrived perfectly. We'll open the box and take a look inside and what you get inside is a rather nice weatherproof case. Looks well made. It doesn't have any uh, padding on it though, not, not really. So I wouldn't imagine it makes the thing drop proof. But solid looking all the same. Right, let's open it up and have a look. Inside we have the very small manual which describes the meter specifications and the um, app. There's a separate sheet uh, with a QR code describing uh, how to get to the iOS and Android apps. There is a PC uh, software as well, and there's the full specification for the meter. After that, we have the normal meter leads, some adapters, and a thermocouple. I believe that's a K-type thermocouple for doing temperature measurement. The little black device you see there is a multifunctional test socket and it has PNP and NPN transistor markings and a few other bits and pieces. So that's the multi-purpose test socket. And then we come to the meter itself, which is a substantial looking item. To anyone who's used a meter before, the controls should be immediately apparent. Uh, sorry about the glare there. On the back you have a stand and underneath the stand is a battery compartment. So that's quite nice. And of course the first thing I did was switch it on and no battery. A short time later I came back armed with a couple of AA batteries to fit into the unit. Screw it all back together and we're ready to go. Media came up, no surprises, except very difficult to see uh, on the camera here. I hope that makes it better with the backlight. So you'll notice uh, below the display there's a little bar chart, which is uh, really nice actually. So I figured the first thing I'd do is to uh, get that thermocouple out and have a look. I don't remember ever having a thermocouple on a meter, but I can imagine it would be awfully useful for testing uh, chips which are getting rather too hot if you can't afford a FLIR camera, which sadly, uh, that's something I've never had and I look with envy when I see them. Anyway, the instructions, uh, it's obvious on the meter what plugs in where. That goes in, there's your thermocouple on the end of the lead. And I'm sorry, it's a bit difficult to see there. But it's it's saying 25 degrees C there. It's a bit better with the backlight. 25 degrees C. And of course, if I put my fingers on the end of the um, thermocouple itself, uh, we can see it in action. And there you have it. Now that I've got that facility, I'm quite forward, looking forward to uh, using it. Uh, and of course, on this uh, meter, as you'll see shortly, you can graph that information. Next thing to do is try the ordinary meter leads, uh, which go in a different place. Uh, of course, it helps if you take the ends off before you um, try to plug the leads in. I wonder how many people have done that. I won't be the first. There it is. There's the negative in, positive in. And I'm trying to move that around so you get a better view on the video. I'm not really being that successful, am I? And out comes my handy test unit, which I've used for everything recently. It's absolutely wonderful. 
This has outputs of two and a half, five, seven and a half, and ten volts. So put on the two and a half volt range, which I know from testing is is pretty accurate. And sure enough, two point four nine nine is the value. Two yeah, two point four nine nine. Five point oh oh two, and for the seven and a half volt, we get exactly seven and a half volts, and for the ten volt reading, uh, we get exactly ten volts. Next, turn on the Bluetooth by pushing that, holding that button. There's the Bluetooth symbol on the left. Uh, go get the app for the phone and there's the app loaded up it sees the Bluetooth and sure enough there's a reading uh, on the phone so there's apps for uh, iOS as well and there's something for the PC couldn't see down at the bottom is a little graph indicator there second from the right and pressing that produces this rather marvelous Display and of course you can save the file. Uh, you can do screen grabs. You can save the file on disk, etc. Um, at this point, I was actually getting quite excited because this is good fun. Now, if you look at that graph over on the left, you've got uh, a number of controls for that, and of course, it took no time at all to figure out that you can zoom in and out and up and down. Uh, just with your fingers um, on the graph, <laughs> which is uh, absolutely marvellous, really. And there you go. And I'm sure you can do the same on uh, iOS. Uh, I've yet to look at the PC application. And so there it is. If you like this short review, please subscribe to the video channel and take a look at my blog. And while you're on, you might want to go across to the Owen site and have a look and see what they have to offer because this is a nice little device. All right, some specifications for you. 